It was a medical concern. You know, when I was young, I wanted to uh, marry, have four children, live in a castle. Oh, and of course, I wanted to go to space. That was the last wish on my list. I suppose one of the poor ain't bad. You have a lovely family, Angus. Anyway, the vote is in, they chose the boy. I know, I figured. Okay. You toast? No. My house, I toast. How about I was gonna toast you? This is oh. not a negotiation, Beaumont. Zip it. All right, glass is up. So, to find the cooking for you lovely people, when you live alone as long as I have, you forget how nice this is. How nice what is? Family. To cry, Raz. To cry, Raz. <laughs> to family. Welcome. Thank you. Aunt Rolanda, this is the friend I told you about. Hi. Mercy Hi. says you're the best. Help make this foolishness go away. I'll try. Unfortunately, with cases involving sexual misconduct allegations, the Crown tends to cast a wide net. Look, I just supervise Jameson House. You know, other than a hi or a bye, I've never had contact with the kids. The Crown contends and believes that they can prove you knew the kids were being raped. My God, I am going to be sick. Anyone that knows you knows that you're good, right? Everyone. You weren't just Bruno's coach, were you? You did other things with him. So when he tried nerve. to speak, you got rid of him. You were way off base. Let me talk to he you. He is dumping fuel. We don't land unless you confess. And then maybe, maybe we all live. I'll be at the front waiting. Think. You are nothing but a figurehead in this company, Mr. Brown. You yield no authority over my or Mr. Pickersgill's approval. You would do well to remember that. How dare you speak to me in that manner? I'll speak to you in whatever manner I choose. I didn't uh, write the will. Bequeath all the benefits of this great company to a slave. I am not a slave!